As you may have noticed, more and more labs are switching from imaging Western blots by film to using digital imagers. Digital imaging provides high quality images of gels and Western blots, and it has a superior dynamic range compared to film. Furthermore, digital imaging makes it easy to determine the best exposure for faint or intense bands. Consider these five things when making the switch. The first thing to keep in mind is that the digital signal is more quantitative. Digital imaging can save you a lot of time and effort since you don't need to optimize your exposure time. With digital imaging, you can use actual pixel counts to determine saturation levels. Or you can keep guessing, like that fool over there. One of the many advantages of digital imaging is that all the image processing happens in a computer screen versus having to store everything on your perfectly organized lab notebook. Digital imaging, in combination with stain-free gels, makes it possible for you to use total protein normalization, which is much better than using housekeeping proteins, which require optimization and very creative blood cutting. Watch your fingers, Bob. As you can see, switching to digital imaging should really be a no-brainer. Right, team? Right!